Hi, this is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and a welcome back to my channel where you receive divine guidance and encouragement. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support as it is greatly appreciated. And if you're browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it is not by coincidence. This is a divine connection. So go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, I invite you to join me on Instagram at you are following D2. And don't forget to check out the community tab here on YouTube. So this is a general reading for the collective for the week of December the 18th to December the 24th, which comes to you from the Tarot Grand Lux deck. Now, the message may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So let's get to your message. God, Most High, Angel Spirit, guys, Kings of Love and Light, the Holy Spirit, what is divine guidance and encouragement for the collective audience? That's for their well-being. Thank you. So this week, you're being encouraged to take a leap of faith because we have the Fool's card. And so in taking a leap of faith, I feel like you're being encouraged to really trust that you're on the right path and that all things are working out on your behalf. So I feel like as you move forward this week and be courageous in doing so, that it's important for you to know that you are being divinely guided. So although you're going to take a risk, you're going to take this leap of faith, you're not going to be led in a direction that's not going to be for your well-being. So the fool has this companion with them, right? To ensure that they don't enter into any sort of danger, right? And so I see the, the dog as being a guide. And your guide or guides are not going to allow you to enter into any harm at all. They're going to be protecting you in the spirit realm and the earth realm as well. So I feel like you're being encouraged to just trust this process this week. Don't be afraid. Don't be reluctant to take action to move forward when an opportunity presents itself, especially if it's an opportunity that you've been desiring because of your prayer request, because of petitions, because of affirmations that you've been sending out into the universe. I feel like now that it's going to be unfolding and happening for you this week, that now is not the time to pull back, second guess, become fearful, just move forward in faith. Trust the process. Know that you are not alone. You're being divinely guided. And this is what you've been wanting. It's what you've been desiring. It's now manifesting for you. Be joyous. Be courageous. Be confident. Um, be bold. Um, be excited. Be excited. Push any fear away by simply being joyous. If fear comes in to try to flood your heart, just override it with joy, happiness, um, excitement. Think back to when you began praying about this or writing your petition about it or your affirmations, whether you were saying them or writing them. Remember how you felt about this particular time, this particular opportunity that presents itself for you and tap into that energy. So I feel like um, you can override it just like when we are out shopping and you know how, for example, the cashier may ring your item twice and they have to call for a supervisor to override the transaction to cancel it out so that the um, purchase can get back on track. So look at God, creator, source, most high, the universe, 
your angels, ancestors as guide and guide, excuse me, as help for you to come in to cancel out the fear. So call on your help and allow them to divinely intervene for you to cancel out that fear so you can get back on the track of focusing on your goal, your task, your desire, your dream. So allow yourself to stay on track by any means necessary. So protect your energy ultimately and don't be afraid to call on divine help. And my apologies for the distraction in the background of the car. So, um, anywho, stay focused, right? That's a good example. Stay focused, no matter what happens. Stay focused. Don't get distracted. Don't get off track. Don't get off course this week. Call on divine assistance to help you when it's needed. And know that you will receive the answer, the guidance, the support, the encouragement, the protection that you need. But enjoy this week. Be free, be excited, and really embrace the opportunities that present themselves and any help that you get from others around you, if necessary, as you engage in manifesting your desires, dreams, tasks, goals this week. All right, so you see this fool, this fool is excited, they're happy, they are accompanied by their companion. Remember that you are not alone. And just have a ball this week. Have a ball in taking a risk. Having Have a ball in taking a leap of faith. Just do it. Like Nike says, just do it. Do it with excitement. Be enthusiastic about it. It's what you've been wanting. Just know that you're divinely guided and protected. All right. So this is your message for the week. And I hope it has been helpful. If you've made it this far and you have not subscribed yet, I respectfully ask that you consider joining us here because I would love to have you. Also, if you all could turn on your post notification. It will let you know when there's a new video that's been uploaded and it also will let you know when I'm going live, etc, etc. So that would be greatly appreciated. So thanks again for joining me here. I appreciate you. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now and have a fantastic week ahead. Take care.